Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekeen and welcome to the Nao Nails channel. This video is something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm so excited and I really hope that Adam edits it really quickly so we can get it out to you guys. You always do that to me. No, I've got a no plan, pressure. you know. No pressure. I've got like a plan of videos that are going out and okay. then you go, oh, but this one needs to go out now. Yes, it does because it's bang on trend. I'm going to LA this week. I'm going to LA next week. Uh -huh. And it, I, yeah, I go to Barcelona then LA. And I go to I, I and I go to yes. LA and then I go to Berlin. All right. And, uh, as jet setters. So <laughs> I'll tell you what, the air miles we're getting. <laughs> so yeah, you want to know what we're going to do? We're actually going to do 3D French bang on trend. <laughs> We have the fabulous Kim in. Do we call you Kimberly or Kim? Whichever you like. I like, I like, I like any. Kim um, is a nail technician herself. She is here because she, her, well, her husband. I will make sure that he gets a plug because <laughs> at, at the Beautiful Minds event, um, at the finale, um, this was our prize to be a model and have a day experiencing what it's like filming on the Nao Nails channel, so, and how much did your husband? A lot of money. Was it like 500 and a quid yes, or something like 500 that? 500 pounds. Yeah, 500 pounds to be here. We were, we were just stood there going, oh my God. I know, we and I told him it. not to. We were like, whoa, calm down. <laughs> kept going, kept going. Mm. They were battling it out, <laughs> battling it out. And yeah, now you're here, which yeah. is brilliant, isn't it? So yeah, we're gonna do Kevin's nails, and she's and she's really excited actually to get these nails done, aren't you? Because when I told her what we were doing, she was like, "Yes!" Go on, shout what you were doing. Tell them all. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get shy now, just because the camera's rolling. <laughs> I am really excited for this one. So I've already prepped Kim's trashed nails. They are slightly trashed. <laughs> She's They're fully aware. majorly trashed, not slightly. <laughs> so we're gonna sculpt out. I've, so I've removed Sophie's shine, done her cuticles, which were horrific. <laughs> <laughs> but we've made them beautiful now, haven't we? I was fully aware. And yeah. That's why I'm here. Yes. So we're gonna start by sculpting out. When you do this design, we're actually, some people have seen the design on other people's work or even stuff that I've put on my own Instagram um, and I think people struggle to figure out how it's done we're actually going to use aqua gel to create this design aqua gel, gel polish, maybe a little bit of builder gel, gel 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 crazy <laughs> going to dehydrate the nails first and then we're going to put the base coat on because we're using aqua gel, when you do that we need to put the base coat on, I'm not going to do the thumb yet, I'm going to Wait, leave that hanging there because it might get knocked. So now we go on with the base. You do not want this thick, nice and thin. So you notice how I'm sort of taking off the excess off the brush because don't forget the stem of this brush it has product and it will run down to the actual brush. You don't want that to then flood the nail. So I'm gonna get as close as I can to the cuticle, pulling all the way to the free edge. And you see how I bounce the brush? That's because I'm kind of rubbing the base into that nail that's got those demarcations in. Let's check. And you can go into the lamp. Now I'm going to put my sculpting forms on. We may have an issue. Kim um, suffers with a thyroid problem. And I knew that when I was prepping uh, her nails earlier. I said, do you suffer with your thyroids? Ever so politely. And she was like, yeah. That's where we discovered I can eat whatever I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so because of that, she has clammy hands. So the clammy hands may affect the sticking of the forms. So is it overactive or underactive? Overactive. So I must have an underactive yes. thyroid. How do I make it act faster? I was born like this. Really? I was born this way. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, mine's just because I'm lazy and, and, and 
and I like to eat a lot. You can take be, medication for it. I used to be it. very, very skinny, but not anymore. You can get stuff for it. It's promising. No. So I'm just going to tailor this form to fit Kim's free edge. So I'm probably one of the worst clients, to be fair. Oh no, Faye. <laughs> Faye is definitely the worst client. <laughs> She, 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 she won't let you take that crown. <laughs> I think she's quite happy the fact that she's got that crown. Well, at least she has it for good reasons. We'll definitely be doing these one at a time. <laughs> no! All the work! Right, so we will have a slight issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the gel residue wipe off solution to just dehydrate the skin and you can even see there, your skin yeah. looks different to mine i don't know if you can zoom in any more than that I'm zoomed in. i can see it i can the texture of your skin is so much different than mine it's like it's kind of like i always struggle spongy doing my, i always yes. struggle doing my own nails yeah i forever have done it's kind of spongy, the skin is, because it holds so much moisture. So, you you know, you've got to be really aware of that. And we're just trying to dehydrate the skin a little bit. Obviously, it will come back. The moisture will. So let's try our very best to get this on as quick as we can. We will do them one by one. We'll build out a clear layer one by one. So I've cut to fit the natural smile line and I've also cut the sides to relieve pressure from the sides of the finger and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the centre tab out of that one and I'm going to wrap it over there to try and hold this form in place. We are slightly anchoring up a little bit so the lines are going up. So we're going to take it's clear dear aqua gel and we're going to do a thin layer to create length. My brush is dipped in some gel residue wipe off solution. So we are going to make contact with that natural nail there. And then we're going to bring down product. Oh, we're we just going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> are you excited? I said, about I, that? Said, I said the wrong thing, didn't I? <laughs> you said. I could do whatever I wanted, I think. <laughs> there was no within reason or anything like that. You said, I can cope with long nails, fine. <laughs> I'm absolutely fine with long nails. Yeah, you can't break a heart by not going to it like a five. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go to a three. I think that's plenty. That um, is my usual length, to be fair. Is it? Yeah. See, perfect. Oh, what shape are you doing there? I am doing a Russian almond. Oh, what? He knows his shapes, this guy does. If your product starts to stick to your brush, make sure you clean your brush and go back into that gel residue wipe off solution. Stay. <laughs> Some gaffer tape on it. To cut the circulation off with gaffer tape. I, I put sellotape around my... <laughs> right, pop that in the lamp. Before it cools, I am going to slightly pinch just a tiny bit. Now we're going to use Tempting Fate, which I absolutely love this colour. Now that you've got the base laid down, can you take the sculpt and form? I could, or... but I don't, I don't need to. Okay. I would prefer to make sure that we're all secure. Put that on. Get this cuticle area nice. Just bubble, 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 pop the bubble. We do like bubbles, but not in the gel. <laughs> we like the bubble effect. But bubbles are your favourite at the moment, aren't they? They are my favourite, but just don't want them in the gel. So I'm just sculpting out an extended nail bed at this point. We're going to do quite a dramatic one. The sides of this brick wall need to be straight so like that nice and flat so nice straight side walls to our smile line now for this design you need this brick wall to be nice and high now 
now we can take this form off. And you can see the shape of the mask. Looks cool. Now I'm just going to wipe over with gel residue wipe off solution just to take off that sticky layer. And we're going to file the smile line. So it's super crisp. This is important because when we create the effect, it's down to the super crisp lines or curves. They actually help to create the design. Just filing on top a little bit, just so I can see, really see that wall. So you see how filing on top as well just sharpens up that line. Same on this side. So you can see how high it is. We need that height. I fold my paper over so I don't have any dust. So we're going to use Snow White and we're going to take a detail brush. So this is gel polish. You're going to go right around the edge of that smile line. Do the highest points first and then we can come lower. You don't need to do like a perfect smile line here at this point. You don't need to do like another smile line. You can just drag that product out. Did you see that hair? Yeah. That, that, that would not have been good. I'm just going back over that highest point. And you can go into the lamp. And I'm just going to check my edges. And I'm just going to go over with a very thin coat. And you want it to be as smooth as you can possibly get it. And if you see the side view, you see how you've got this sort of like, it reminds me like of a, a ramp, of a skate ramp. It reminds me of a skate ramp, a vert ramp. Um, so it's like a, like a, I don't know, what would it be? It's like an owl. Jay, nice little curve. That's what you want. Pop that in the lamp. Oh, do you know the Winter Olympics? Mm -hmm. They do man-made half pipes, don't they? They make half pipes out <laughs> yes. of snow. Yeah. It kind of looks like that, don't it? <laughs> when you zoom in. So I'm going to take some builder in the bottom. Touch and drag one side. Go again. Touch and drag that up to the side. I'm just going to touch it with a brush and move it to exactly where I want it. Turn it upside down and we're going to clean the edge a bit so it's nice and neat. Pop that in. Then we're going to go back to the Acro Gel and we're going to place that right on the end. And we're going to work side to side and then I'll have an equal amount on each side when I actually come to bring it up the sides. If I go straight and do one side, I'll drag most of the product up there. Um, that's not what I want. So well, the reason we put the build in the bottle down first is because it's really clear. And this is the highest point of the nail. It's what I would call the hidden apex. So it's going to be very deep and I didn't want the Acro Gel to look, you know, it could look slightly cloudy if it was too thick. So now we're going to create another smile line. So just like we did before with nice straight high walls, I'm actually going to take off a little bit of that. I love Acro Gel for that, you can just like keep moving it around, do exactly what you want with it. It's kind of like Play-Doh. Or like that Fimo stuff. What's you that? can keep moving it around and do what you want with it and then I put it in that. the oven. 
Have you ever seen that? You've never seen that, Adam? No. Your son not got it? No. Oh, it's really cool. You should get it, what Isaac. It? It's like Play Doh. What's it called, I mean? Fimo. Fimo or Fimo? Fe. Th. T. Th. No. Fe. Fe. With a big fe. <laughs> Alright, just because you said because you put it in the oven, I thought it would be fe. Is in thermal? No. There's me being Fimo. Too, too, too logical, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, completely overthinking it then, Adam. So we're going to get the nice smile line, nice and high. Make sure that this part of the nail here is also smooth, as it will affect your next colour. Pop me that in the lamp. Let's wipe over to remove the sticky layer. So we're wiping with the child residue wipe off solution. Move that out of the way. I can fold that back out because we're going to put the more dust on here from, from the filing. I'm going to go in with Lily of the Nile because we want this to look quite icy as well. I'm going to put some down with my brush this time just to make it a little bit quicker and easier. I can go in with the brush and go to that highest point again. Get that drawn in and then down. Put me that in the lamp. At this point, it is very, very important to make sure your gel polish is completely cured as when you start to file, you'll start to file through uncured, 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 uncured gel polish, which, well, first will mess up the nail and it's not good to be sat on the skin either. It's filings of uncured gel polish is not good and can cause you you know, skin issues and Wouldn't stuff Wouldn't it like eventually that. peel? Yeah, it'd cool it, it'd get a surface break yeah. down, I suppose you would. So we're going to go in with the Aqua Gel again. Nice big squeeze. Pop it in the middle. Why do we pop it in the middle? Why do we pop it in the middle, Kim? Can you remember? No, because I don't use Aqua Gel. We pop it in the middle. <laughs> I'm going to teach you. Pop it in the middle so we can go from the middle. Oh yeah, you just out. said that so you can go up both sides equally. Yeah. I wasn't paying it. I was looking what you were doing, that's why. So we're gonna repeat this process until we get to the tip. Aqua gel does look really nice. I think I might have to try it. You should do it, is it's really good. It looks so much easier. It's loads easier. It's really strong. What's your page called? Envy Nails, for it say? Envy Nails, that's it. So we're going to use Guilt Trip, but I am going to add a little bit of that previous colour, that Lily of the Nile, just to lighten it a little bit. And we're going to mix with the spatula. So make sure that's nice and clean. And fold colours into each other. And if you spread it, it'll mix nicely. Let's get this on. So am I actually the first person you're doing this on? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just did it on that nail, didn't I? Yeah, because that's, as obviously it was your little caption. Where I was like, oh, I can't believe you didn't actually try it before. I thought you'd be the one who'd... Put it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly everything. Try to. <laughs> Pop that. I do try to. <laughs> I do go, oh, I've messed around and created this. Adam's like, what? <laughs> Hold on, what are we doing here? What was the bubble? We needed to get rid of the bubble. The bubble. The bubble. The bubble. The bubble. We don't like the bubbles in the aqua gel. No bubbles in the gel, just bubbles for nail art. 
People who've been trying this must be gutted if it don't work out with that. You've been spending all that time on it. Mm -hmm. I took about 24 minutes and mine didn't work out now. I'm tempted again. <laughs> Pop that in. And, and you wanted to put five colours in. <laughs> <laughs> so you put one colour away again. <laughs> But you're glad you did now. Ten years later. Right, for the end I'm going to do it slightly different. Because what I want to do is create like a shape here. So if I sort of do this, you might, what I mean, we're going to create a shape there. We want this sort of, bit of this, so we say it's a bit of a triangle kind of, mm, kind of thing. Technical term, yeah, thing. yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll know what I mean when you see it. It's one of those things. Yeah, so imagine we go up to there. And fill that with colour. I love this colour. This, like, nice. it's so nice, this guilt trip. It's, it's like denim. It reminds me of denim. I think it's from Warboy. Okay, put that in. And you can see it's very important to have a gel polish that is highly pigmented on the end. And you're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cured up. Yeah, just cured up. Blob. So I want my edges here and the same on this side. Right, so we're going to take the dark, this dark colour, which is Ocean Ridge. It's a nice navy. And we're going to go right up here. I really want to do other sections on these sides, but I think I'm going a bit berserk, aren't I? Since <laughs> <laughs> so first like, she was more. all like, it's it's too much, and now she wants to do more. First she was like, it's very time consuming. <laughs> I want to make it even more time consuming. So on this one, you have to do each side at a time. You can't just pour it in the middle and then just thing it around. Yes. I want to do each side. I've definitely put way too much product on that. It's gone a bit, bit crazy berserk there with the amount of acro <laughs> Could you say more is less? What are you going to learn when you go to Charlie? What Fold. do you want to learn? Shapes. Yeah. I'm not very good at folding. Well, finish fire, like. Mm -hmm. I can just do my normal coffin and stiletto, but I'd like to be able to do others. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that my coffin shape could get a bit better. Mm -hmm. Well, you can. I, I personally think, like, especially like in my time, because I haven't really done much yet. Anything you can still improve on. Yeah, I can. Like 
That's Everybody's right. still always learning. So because of that, I kind of been I choose like a bit of basic courses if that makes sense. Like yeah. just like back to basic stuff, just to actually. I'm not fussed about designs. I can do designs. I don't need to know how to do a design. That's not my problem. Mm -hmm. It's is like nail structure and stuff like that where I do struggle a bit with sometimes, but I don't. There's no point knowing all these designs if you can't build a proper nail. Yep. Does it look like? Well, people think designs it are like like a cover up way of doing stuff, don't they? But I don't see it like that. I'd rather have a, pl a clear nail that's perfect and know I've done that yeah. before I start doing something a bit higher up, if that makes sense. Yeah. So a lot of texts I know, they say, well, as soon as you put polish on, you can't see it, can you? Mm, but yeah, yeah, you I can. don't, that's the bit that I'm a bit, I don't want to have to say that. Yeah. I want it to be perfect Black. enough. For me, not even thinking about having to say that. Yeah. We have one monster of a nail. We're taking the um, sticky layer off the aqua gel. This is the nice part. I love filing and seeing the design sort of sharpen up. Like that now, so you can see the lines a lot crisper when you start to file. So that's why it's important to get the height as well, so you can have these gorgeous lines and shadows. Look, it's looking amazing. Look at that. I like it because it's got it, like it looks depth. wow. Yeah. It's got depth in it. Like the shape, the shadow. Yeah. Even though you haven't done anything shadow wise, it's just got shadow. Yeah. I love it. Let's give it a buff. Right. Right, so <laughs> gonna use some aqua gel to put some stones on. So you've only ever seen me do this on a video, not in real life. Am I, oh. am I right? Yeah. Yes. And we were talking about this technique earlier, weren't we? Using the aqua yeah. gel to put the stones on with, and it's the best way. I personally think it looked so much easier. Oh, it is. Massively easier. So, I, I, like I said, I have had an attempt with acrylic and it was nowhere as easy as this seemed. Mm. What do you think, Adam? Sorry? He, he hasn't been paying attention. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do switch off. He's not in the room. Well, no, I'm sorry, but I thought when you talk to me, I listen. But you weren't talking to me. Exactly, no, I wasn't. I was just I asking you your you. opinion on something. But... What do I think about Acrogel? This technique. Of putting aqua gel or you mean the technique of the actual nail? Of putting the aqua gel on to put the stones on. Um, I was being sarcastic when I said, what do you think? Because, you know, because you're a buddy nail artist, really. All right, okay. I'm gonna be like that, okay, no worries. No, I think you are. I think it's a, I think it's a, um... Well, I tend to use clear acrylic to put my gems down, but if, if it's not, rough enough it will just pop back off yeah. after a couple of days it will stay on mm. for like a week but then pop off i mean you always used to put on with um acrylic acrylic yeah you never had any real problems yeah. i think this just it gives you a little bit more time to work but also it cuts out a step because you're top coating at the same time yeah um, rather than having so you to don't get the little white glue top coat first, bits then, as well then then um so I used to, obviously, I use glue as well, but I, I hate yeah. that. Yeah. Mm, I it's don't the, really the, the like white, the glue. It's, it's the white, like, little residue you can get. Yeah. It's not good. It, it can happen from, like, anything as well. Uh, it really winds me up. You've got this really nice crystal now, and then it's got all this white around it. Yeah, not good. This technique is 
you know, get rid of that, you know, you'd, ne you'd never have a problem. So I never actually bought any because I don't even know why. Because you're very silly girl. Because it's just because <laughs> I I always thought it was a lot like builder gel. Get it in the lamp. So, can you see the depth? Oh, look, look at it. It looks amazing. Get it in focus, Adam. For God's sake. There we are. Now we're talking. You know, my screen's so much smaller than your screen. I know. Use Don't the big one. That. I can't see it because of this big thing in the way. Oh, big light in the way. Yeah. So, let's oil you up. How gorgeous is that? Right, what you need to do is rotate it like so you can see the different Ooh. you need to rip my finger off <laughs> <laughs> look oh my god look at the waves look at the waves look at the shadows absolutely love it it's a lot of time and effort don't get me wrong <laughs> but i absolutely love it i love it yes it's amazing look at it we can't see it how we can yes you can now there it looks like four little steps yeah don't you think yeah it's so cool oh, i love, I love it. it it's beautiful i want it on my finger no. <laughs> be like that. <laughs> yeah, it's yours forever. <laughs> there you are, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a go. If you do have a go, don't forget hashtag Kirsten Meekin, hashtag no nails, all that shebang. Everything I've used will be listed below, as always. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Maybe you should put a little, put a little thing to go in. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin from No Nails. In this video, we're going to do some blah 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 blah